Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. What's up, everybody? HTG Doug here, checking out some more Destiny. This time, we're doing how to quickly farm relic iron. And uh, I apologize, this took so long to get up. Uh, I had a little trouble finding a good spot, and then when I did, it didn't seem to want to work for me consistently, but I finally got it to work the way I think I, well, the way I want it to, I think it works really, really well now, so. I think this is probably the best way to farm Relic Iron. There's one other way that I'm going to show you guys, uh, hopefully very soon, and it's actually right in this area. Uh, I've had a lot of people tell me they have great luck with it. I just, whenever I do it, I never have good luck with it. I don't know if it's because I'm doing it solo or if it's because you need more than one person or what, but whenever I do it, I have terrible luck. So I need to get uh, Avenge and maybe some other else to help me out with it and see if we could, uh, if I can get it to actually work. So, but, uh, so I'll let you guys choose when you like the best. Uh, we found when we did it that these, they're probably about the same. I just like the bigger areas better. So that's just my personal preference, but. So this first run is going to take a little longer than what it will when you do it because I'm going to show you where all the different chests and relic island locations are. And uh, the first one was actually really good. I actually really, I got really lucky and it gave me everything that I really wanted. So that's one right there. Sometimes everywhere I shoot is basically where a location is. So uh, if you're looking for them, that's where you should keep an eye out. All right. So we already got two and we haven't even passed the first little section yet. And uh, so, yeah, I, I show you two different ways you can do this. I show you the, the way where... Uh, you leave the area and come back and I show you the way where you don't uh, in the end I think it kind of balances out I think I have a little better luck with um, Leaving the area and coming back, but that just could be me wanting to believe that so you guys will have to try out both ways and see for yourself, but uh, Doing this you can get about um, I would say probably about a hundred and thirty minutes or so maybe a little more maybe a little less uh, I got a little lucky with some of the chests and got a little unlucky with some other ones. So uh, I think it balances out to about 130 minutes. Uh, it, you might be able to do a little better, like I said, but, you know, it's it's about that average, I would say. All right. So, uh, so far, we have a pretty good run. Um, tons of chest locations, tons. I think that's number I lost track or anything. <laughs> I can never. I always start off counting. and I always forget. I think that's number five. Um but yeah, there's a, I like this route, of course, because there is a ton of chest locations, and I, you know I like chess. And I actually have a surprise for you if you actually watch the end of this video, or towards the end of this video, I should say. Uh, I never get to actually get one of these chests, so when we actually get it, I'm, I'm super excited. So I, I left it in there. I actually edited out a, about 10 minutes of uh, footage just to show you guys that the one chest that I, I got. So anyway, we'll get there. But... Uh, I, of course, like this, a lot of chests, so there's a lot of more chance to get other stuff with the chests, as you'll see later on. And, um, yeah, that's that's basically the entire reason I like it. I like a lot of chests. Chests are great. Uh, you always have the chance to get more and uh, get other stuff, like weapons for weapon parts and stuff like that. And a lot of glimmer as well. Uh, I'm always maxed out on glimmer. It's crazy. I always have to buy stuff just so I can cash in my house banners and beads and stuff. All right, so uh, you can do this in any order you like back here. Uh, sometimes I take the first chest or it's the first room. Sometimes I take the second room. Second room. It depends how I feel. Um, I usually come back here first, but that's how I chose to do the first one because there was a guy standing there, and uh, you know I wasn't sure if he was going there, if there was a chest in there, if he would take it or not. So you know I, I decided to take that one first. But uh, I like this route for uh, the other reason is because there's never a lot of people here, or usually there isn't. Usually when I go to film. Or record this uh, there are a ton of people here but whenever I'm not there's never anybody here so um, the other location has a lot of people because it's the spawn point so a lot of people always show up and take your stuff whereas this one there's not very many people back here so uh, you have a better chance to not have people take your stuff so but uh, there are public events that spawn you'll see that in a few seconds um, or a few minutes I have one spawn and they spawn about every 30 minutes here as well maybe a little less maybe a little more I don't want to give you guys an exact time and then have somebody come back and say, well, I didn't get it. Well, you know, it's it's that, that time frame-ish. So, uh, yeah, there's a ton of locations here you can find stuff. And there's actually a few that I don't, don't even point out, but I will tell you where they are when I go buy them. Because um, I didn't check there for whatever reason. And um, it turns out later on there were actually spots. there, Or they were there, whatever I should say. So. All right, so this is uh, so, oh, the second to last building, actually. This building has a ton of relic iron locations that there could be, but I guess all of them do, but this one has like more than usual. 
And this room, uh, I've actually found the chests uh, to be more likely to spawn in either the back than uh, than the other ones. I don't know why that is. Maybe it's just my luck, uh, but that's just what I found. And there's actually is a chest location there to the right as well. I didn't shoot at it, but I apologize for that. And um, that last building we were in, not the one where I didn't shoot at that area, but the b one before. If you exit the door to the right, and I'll show it to you next time we go around, uh, there is actually another relic iron location. So uh, this was a pretty good first route, I have to say. I think I got—I don't—I lost track. I stopped counting, but uh, I think I had probably about tw twelve to sixteen. And that's probably that's usually about the average is twelve to sixteen. And um, that route took a little longer because I stopped and checked and showed you guys every locations. Uh, but this time we're gonna speed it up a lot faster, and I'm gonna use the sparrow a lot more, and it makes the route a lot quicker. So um, I would say a route takes about four to five minutes, maybe a little more, a little less, depending on how quickly you do it. Uh, could be, could be, I mean, I'm sure you can do this in three minutes if you know where to look, and that one disappears on me. So another reason I like this location is because um, uh, if you get one of the relic irons on the back wall, like where we first start, if you leave and come back, you can actually get it again. And um, I don't know many locations that you can do that or have the time to do that, so it's pretty good. I mean, I think you'll see me do it later on in a few minutes, but uh, you can definitely leave and come back and get it again. So it's pretty good. Like sometimes I'll get four just from one location. So I, you know, you can't really beat that. It's pretty good for sure. So um, there's also a lot of enemies here. I'm actually, while doing this, I had a, a bounty for collect 200 Olympus tiers on Mars. And I actually get it done just by running around. Like I occasionally use my super, but uh, most of the um, tiers are actually completed by people just shooting guys that I like, walk by. And for some reason that triggers as a, uh, and I missed one location. There's a chest right there on top that I didn't shoot it the first time. But uh, that's I get a lot of tears from running past people that are shooting stuff. So that's always good. All right. So, um, so yeah, it's a great place to get bounties done. There's also missions around. So if you want to do missions while doing this, uh, it's also possible to do that as well. Uh, I just like this area in general. It has a lot of advantages and... Um, and yeah, the other the other area has I think one better advantage, but I will not say what it is until I'm sure that I'm correct about it because I have not fully tested out the area as much as I would like to have yet. So yeah, the uh, the relic iron and the Mars are just kind of weird. Like I just had a really bad luck getting some of the stuff to spawn. And I went to do this about a couple weeks ago or a week ago, uh, and um, I had I've had, I've been having a lot of server troubles. Or, uh, server troubles with this game. I think especially now that the patches they've really been releasing more and more patches, it's uh, lagging the servers a little bit. So uh, I think that's what the issue is. And uh, I'm gonna go around one more time, and then I'm gonna show you what happens when you actually don't leave and come back. Uh, and I think that the relic iron is based on a time and lo and uh, leaving the location kind of basis, if you want to call it that. So uh, I prefer to leave and come back. And you'll see this one is still here, so I can get it again. Um, but that's just my personal opinion or my choice. Uh, if you don't want to, I think it balances out to about the same. You, I mean, it's only like 10, 15 seconds to run around, uh, to drive down and drive back anyway, so it's not a huge deal. But uh, I'm kind of, you know, I was kind of surprised. I actually got like all the chest locations that I want to spawn to spawn, except for one, and that was actually the one top of the fountain in the center or the built the circle building in the center. All of the ones spawned pretty much, and I was. I was pretty excited. Uh, and usually I, when I go to record these, I never get the chests to spawn that I want. So, uh, But yeah, I would say the average is about 12 to 16 per run, uh, sometimes 10. Uh, probably 10 to 16 because sometimes you get really bad runs. Or as you'll see later on in a, a few minutes, um, if you get somebody else in the area, they take your chests and it kind of lowers your average. But usually, as you can see through most of this video, I really don't have too many people around me. Uh, so it wasn't actually that bad. I was kind of surprised. And uh, I, would, I was using my super just to kill these uh, the Minotaur and the Vex Goblin, or the Hob Goblin and the uh, the Harpy that spawned there. It just kind of worked out that I kept having it around that area, so. But all right. Uh, yeah, like I said, it pr it's a pretty good run. Like, I don't know if it's as good as the Spirit Bloom run that we did, but, I mean, it's it's definitely really good and i i ended up with like i did this for about an hour yesterday i think i ended up with like 236 pieces of relic iron and i was like all right well i and actually i've never seen this in inventory before but i had to use it i used two different slots for the relic iron because i had too many apparently 200 is the max for one slot which i don't understand or know but uh right behind me where i just came out the door there is a relic iron spot that could be there as well so um 
yeah, so that's that's also one you want to look out for. I never looked there until later on. I happened to see it, and I was like, oh, well, didn't even know that one was there. Uh, every time I do this, I find a different chest location. So, you, I, I mean, I'm sure I've missed a couple, and I'm sure somebody's going to tell me that where a, like a common one is or something like that. But these are the ones that I found to be most common. And uh, you'll see. So when I didn't go down, um, it didn't seem to spawn a lot of the ones uh, as quickly as if you go around but like I said, I could just be fabricated, fabricating that in my mind. But that's just the way I feel about it. So, and you'll see, like I don't get. I got one relic iron in the front, which I could have missed the last time. Not even sure. Uh, the red sometimes blends in, and I sometimes miss them. But um, I like I didn't see any for a little while, and then as soon as I get over here is where I start to find them. So, um, I I think the ones over here spawn faster. To be honest with you, like I said, that I could be making that up in my mind again. But uh, that's just the way I feel. But like you see, I, I just I don't find anything for a while, and then the optional event pops up, and uh, this is where everything starts to spawn. So um, I don't know if it was I don't think it's related, but it could be. So uh, I, I mean I'm already done. Oh, what's up, hobos? Uh, he is actually part of the uh, HTG uh, clan or group on Bungie.net. If you guys want to be a part of that, then uh, for sure send us an invite. Look us up. Uh, just Bungie.net and search Happy Thumbs Gaming, all one word, and it should pop up. And uh, you guys can be a part of the clan as well. We're trying to do more raids with you guys. Um, so, yeah. That's my uh, spiel for the clan for the day. But uh, as you can see, like, I went through the whole thing and barely got anything. I got some more chests towards the end and some more relic iron towards the end. But overall, I don't think I got as many. And I sneak in on this uh, this optional event here. And I never actually go ahead and do it again. I never I never actually do anything with it. So, um but this time when I go around, everyone's kind of preoccupied by the optional event. So I find I find more, and they actually spawned, I think, a little better. And uh, you'll see the chest up in the corner. I finally got that to spawn, so that's good. But uh, I think it's just a time-based thing. But I think it goes a little faster if you leave the area and come back. But like I said, I'm not 100% sure on that, so don't hold me to it. It's just the way I feel from what I've learned. So uh, it, it seems like it, it averages out if you if you go around a couple times. It'll, they'll all pop back up again. Uh, but like I said, I'm not sure. So, oh, and I, there's one in the corner. There you go. So I finally get one to pop up in the back for you guys. And those are kind of hard to see because the green is kind of off to the side. Because I usually look for the green, and uh, as they complete the event for me, and I get one up top for you guys. That's good as well. Um, and you'll see, like I'm getting two per thing now, and I also get the one right here as well. Uh, so I think I think it averages out, but I, I just prefer to do the 10 to 15 second run down and come back. And uh, I see I I super the exact same guys again. So. Uh, also, one I didn't point out is right there to the left. You see the boxes on the stairs. There's actually a chest that sometimes spawns next to that box. It's very rare. I've seen it once in like the five hours that I farmed here. Uh, so, but it is it does appear every once in a while. So keep an eye out for it as well. And uh, that's really all you can do is just. I mean, there's a ton of locations, and you probably won't even see half of them on your run through when you're farming. But I mean, you you have to check. Otherwise, they're, they're like you won't get any of the entire run. So. Once you learn the locations, the runs become a lot better just because you know where to look and you find more. So, Or you just have really bad luck like me and find like nothing. But uh, that's the two runs uh, of me not going down. And uh, I did okay the second run. The first one was awful. Uh, so that's probably going to be what happens if you guys do it that way. Is you're going to go down and do... Your, like, first, run down, or first run around is going to be awful. The second one is going to be a little better. But... I just, I don't like it. I like going down and coming back. It's like 15 seconds. It doesn't take long, so. And you'll see I did a little horrible edit there. But this is the run where I found some really cool stuff and with the uh, with the chest. So I had to show it to you guys because I never get to show it. And I was super excited. I actually double-taked when it happened. But it also, this run actually gives you some different lo uh, chest locations and relic iron locations. So it worked out good for, uh, for us. Except for this one. This one's in the same spot. I didn't get one to pop up on the left. But I got this one twice, so it's okay. All right, and I get two from there. So yeah, so I'm already up to three. Let's t let's see if we can take a count here, because I, I didn't count the rest of them. That's three, and I also get a relic iron in this location right here, which I've never seen before. And I put the sparrow too close and get back on. But uh, there's another two, so that's five. And then we're gonna start clearing out some of these guys because they're just bothering me. Uh, and I got this exotic shoddy, so it does like kills everybody in, like one hit. Oop, and there's my bounty complete, so that's pretty good. Alright, so uh, nothing in those, so we're still at 5, and then nothing back here as well. I never get, I don't have really good luck with those locations, uh, with those two rooms, for some for whatever reason. Not really sure why, but uh, yeah. And I don't get anything up here. I've never seen anything down at the other end of this uh, little canopy thing, or uh, cover. 
I've only seen him in those two locations, but I could be wrong. Like I said I still see po chests pop up in different locations, um, even after doing this for five hours. So that's number six. Uh, we'll get that. Oh, and look at this! Look at this craziness! Like I'm clearly right on top of him, and it's not hitting him. I was very, I was very confused and upset. Um, but it's the little things that annoy me. So, all right, so nothing here and nothing there as well. So kind of a bad start to this one, but it picks up real quick, and uh, you'll see in a second. And I never got to show you guys a chest back there either, so I apologize for that, but nothing I can do about that. All right, so we come back here, and this is where, there we go, I slowed it down, and uh, I get uh, finally get one of my epic chests. I get a rare, a legendary, and a heavy ammo synthesis, and 10 relic iron. So that actually makes 16 for the run, but I was super excited. Like, I could not believe it. I was like, no way, I never see those in the videos that I do. So I was really excited. Uh, glad I got to show you guys, and um, so in this area, it seems to be I get about one every half an hour or so, as that makes 18. Um, maybe not always that good, but sometimes I get like a, a shard or an energy or something like that, so uh, something to definitely look, keep an eye out for, and which is why exactly why I like the chest, so. But that's going to do it. So hopefully you guys found this useful. Uh, hopefully you guys found both routes or both different ways to do it uh, informative. And uh, let me know which one you find the best. And I hope to have the second Relic Iron Farming video up for you guys very soon. If it's not already up so you guys can see the both the different ways and see which one you like the best. And um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully you liked it. And uh, I'm trying to find a good spin metal route. Can't seem to find one. So, uh, I mean, you have to. I'm trying my best though. So. Uh, all right, well, as always, make sure you follow us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, like and subscribe to us on YouTube, and check us out on Google+, Instagram, Twitch, and our website as well. And uh, I will see you guys very soon.